Hey guys and welcome to another video. Before going to sleep I decided to make another video and show you exactly how to undervolt your uh, CPU on the MSI G76 Raider. This will work with the MSI G66 Raider as well. So basically we'll have to restart our computer and go into the BIOS and uh, enable one, one setting. So we'll just restart our computer right now. And once you see the MSI logo, you'll have to keep pressing delete on your keyboard to the point where you get to the BIOS. Once you get in the BIOS, uh, you'll stop pressing delete. And I'll show you exactly what you have to change afterwards. Alrighty, we're waiting for the logo right now. It's late at night here, so I haven't turned on my lights. That's why uh, the lightning is bad and everything is black <laughs> right now. Okay, now we're into the BIOS, right? You'll have to uh, enable the advanced uh, settings in the BIOS. In, MS in MSI, uh, we will do this by pressing four keys at the same time. These keys are the right control, right shift, left alt key, and uh, F2. All these four at the same time will enable the advanced uh, settings. I'll just leave my phone down for a second to press all these. Alrighty. And once you do this, you'll have that you uh, you'll see that you'll have uh, some extra options now. We'll go into advanced. We will scroll all the way down, and we here we have overclocking performance menu. We'll open this one. Sorry, I just pressed something else. I'll just go back. Overclocking performance menu, and here we will enable XTU interface. You'll have to enable this setting. Just enable it, and afterwards. Press F10 on your keyboard, save and exit, press enter. And now we will have to download the XTU software, the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. And from there, it will be very, very easy to uh, undervolt our CPU. I will show you exactly uh, how much you'll have to undervolt it because I tested a lot of settings. I tried to undervolt it uh, by 0 0.100 volts, but that wasn't stable at all. So I found a stable undervolt at 0 0.075 volts, and I had no crashes, no freezes whatsoever. So once you download the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, you'll just have to go on Google and search for it. You'll find it very easily. Just type Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, this one, and it's the first link. Just download the second one here, where I have my cursor. And once you install the so that software, open it. The fans are already kicking in because I set the extreme performance mode and I enabled cooler boost and uh, everything. And in here, you'll have to go into advanced tuning, all controls. And for core voltage offset right here, we will turn it down to 0 0.075 volts. You can uh, change uh, change it even more if you want, but you will see that it is unstable. Maybe you'll have uh, a lucky chip, I don't know. But this is uh, pretty much stable and you can uh, over uh, undervolt this uh, without any issues. So now I'll just apply the settings. And if you want this software to launch on startup, because it doesn't have any option in here to start uh, on uh, Windows startup, You'll have to go here. We will click. We will. Uh, we will search. We'll say run in the search bar. And here you'll have to type exactly this command: shell startup. And in this folder, you'll have to drag the shortcut of uh, the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. You'll just have to drag it here, and it will launch automatically once you start your Windows. You can do this with uh, any application you want, you want, and it will work without uh, any problem. So this was pretty much it for the, uh, for the undervolt, guys. Uh, for the GPU as well, if you want uh, a safe uh, overclock, I'll just show you mine. This is it. Plus 50 on the core, plus 200 on the memory. You, uh, you can overclock the core more if you want, but it won't be stable. I tried uh, a lot of things in here. I tried 100, I, I tried 75, I tried 70, 65. None of them are stable. 50 is stable. This GPU is already on a high TDP and uh, they push this as much as they could, I'm pretty sure. That's why you're not able to push the core clock even further. So uh, this is pretty much it for the video, guys. 
uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope uh, that you'll be able to see every frame because I'm filming this with my phone in the dark. So, uh, yep, see you in the next one. Peace.